Hello, this is Retro Plus, and today I'm going to show you how to import a custom avatar into VRChat. For this tutorial, you will need a copy of Blender, the current VRChat supported version of Unity, a Unity compatible skeleton, and a VRChat SDK. These are linked in the description below. First, go to the Blender website and download Blender. Once Blender is installed, go into the description. In there will be a project file which will have the correct skeleton that will work best with Unity. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using this basic humanoid model. Now it's time to map the skeleton to your model. Ensure that your character is the correct scale. I recommend 1.5 meters to 1.9. That will give you the best results in game. Next, line up the skeleton with your model. Make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Once you're done matching the bones with the model, test your model for any faults. Once you've confirmed that your model is in full working order, export it as an FBX file, and then open Unity. Once Unity Hub is open, create a project file called Avatar Importer, and then wait for the Unity project to load. Once it's finally loaded, you'll need to go into the description and then look for the VRChat SDK. Once the SDK is downloaded, right click on where the assets are and then select import package and then custom package. Then find where your SDK is downloaded in your downloads folder. That will then take about a minute or so to download and install onto Unity. Once it's done, you should see a new tab at the top that says VRChat SDK. That means it's successfully installed. Next, go to your models folder and bring up the FBX file that you exported from Blender and then drag it into the assets. Then drag it into the hierarchy and make sure it's oriented correctly. Now go to the top right, look for the little select button and then select rig. Then you must make sure that the animation type is humanoid, then hit apply, and now you can configure. In order to ensure that your model will work properly, you need to make sure that all your bones are mapped. Match all the bones with the names in the right hand side list. If the model is green, you're good to go. If it's not, enforce T-pose and that should fix it. Once it's all green, hit apply and then done. Now you should be back in the normal Unity viewport. If you're having problems with your materials, go to the top right and then look for Use Legacy Materials, and that should help. Next, click on your model and then add an avatar descriptor in the components section. This is what tells the game where the camera is going to be. You will see a grey orb, this will be the viewpoint. Line it up with the character's eyes or head as best as you can. Once you're done with that, add an animator if you don't already have one. Make sure the avatar is set to the current model that you've got. Now you can go to the VRChart SDK button, click show control panel, that should open the VRChart SDK window where it will tell you to sign in. Put your details in, click sign in. And by the way, you will need 24 hours spent in VRChat to upload a character. Now go to the Builder tab and you'll see a few errors, probably. Select Auto Fix. Make sure that it registers as a humanoid model. If it doesn't, your model will just be static and it won't be able to actually move its limbs. Now go to the bottom of the tab. If you go to Build and Test, that will, that will allow you to test your avatar before you fully upload it. If you want to fully upload it, which I don't recommend before testing, select Build and Publish for Windows. Upon clicking the Build and Publish button, it will begin to upload your character. 
Then a window will pop up allowing you to put a description and thumbnail for your character. A camera will appear to let you position it to make a thumbnail. Once you're done, hit upload and it should upload it to your account. Now let's hop into VRChat and see the final result. As you can see, it worked quite nicely. I'm in the game now with this avatar. The tracking works nicely and the rig works. Thank you for watching and best of luck with your avatar. Goodbye.